Hello everyone and welcome back to our first time playthrough of Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. In the last part we started Sand Mountain and did Guppy Mountain and in this part we are going to be tackling the second two slopes of the level. The first of which being Flounder Hill. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, uh, also hi, uh, I'm pretty sure this is one that I really did not care for. Um, again, we are recording this. Uh, probably a week after we have already recorded the game, but we mentioned that in our last part, you know, that we had, like, audio failure and stuff like that. And this is also the greatest inclusion of the entire remake right here. Um, yes. 10 out of 10. I love it. Dab on the haters. Yeah, this game raised uh, my score of it by an entire letter grade. That right there. So, definitely oh satisfied with that inclusion. So stupid. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm joking, but uh, this level, this area, I should say, is home to my least favorite sock in the entire game, and I'm glad that we are re-recording this because I kid you not, my entire commentary for this entire slope is nothing but me complaining about that sock. And nobody wants to fucking hear that. Well, even though you agree with me, but... Oh, I agree with you 100%, but it was 90% of your entire commentary was. Well, it is it is abysmal, but... Uh, I also bitched and moaned because I was like... You did, because you couldn't figure out where the shortcut was. <laughs> yeah, because, like, who the fuck would know? You know, they switched up the arrows and shit, so... Yeah. No sense. Well, so the entire... Um, thing with flounder hills it's just a it's a slightly more difficult um guppy mound basically it's it's basically the intermediate level obviously with it being two um but it's the same same verse same as the first or whatever i forget i think that's the phrase or whatever or second verse same as the first yeah that's how it goes point being that you're just playing a spongebob trying to get to the bottom of the slope before the time runs out and also, when you get to the bottom of the slope, you want to destroy all of the robots and get the spatula for doing that. So, what you're seeing right now is her first attempt down the slope in which she is not successful, I believe. No. Um, that but... was my favorite part right there, because it was like, beep, boop, beep, boop. <laughs> I love them. Mm -hmm. They're so funny. Yeah, but the basic uh, strategy with this one is you're going to want to take the shortcuts that are available. Because yeah. if you don't, you're not going to make it in time. But you're not really going to know the shortcuts the first couple times you go down the slope, so. I will um, be honest, I was pretty proud of myself, like, my first run through, because I was like, I didn't die, I don't think. And I was like, damn, like, I got this. Like, I'm getting all these snowmen, snow sand men. I'm like, hell yeah, I got this. And then I get to the end, and I'm like, well, hot diggity damn. I fucked that up. Yeah, because as you're seeing right here, she only has like 10 seconds to get to the end and she is not gonna make that time no, not by like a long 75 shot of the way there. no you're more like 90 percent of the way there it's Am just I you aren't making it in time because uh, you made it through yeah yeah but um yeah you still go through and fight the robots at the end so basically the way i edited this uh the past two parts is i basically just showed any run or any clip that is that makes progress so I cut out attempts where nothing was gained, nothing was achieved, and there was really no point in sitting through it. Just to kind of streamline this a little bit because, you know, when it's live, it's different because we obviously have our commentary to back that up. But in post, it's just, there's really no reason not to cut the fluff. Um, yeah. Just because, you know, it, it like makes it go by faster. And that's also why Sand Mountain is only two parts instead of the usual three that we have for every single level. And this is the only level in the game that will be like this, only having two parts. Every other level is edited to have three. Although I haven't edited Kelp Forest yet, so I think that oh, one might be fuck four. Kelp but, Forest. Well, yeah, we'll get to that when we get to that. But you are at this point in the recording 50 percent of the way done the game so this marks the halfway point in terms of golden spatula progression which is pretty awesome and then the box the teleport box glitched and i was just standing on top of it and made no sense yep, um but remarkable. yeah thankfully you did cut a lot of the fluff because ugh. there were a lot of deaths and i'm pretty sure i montaged yeah. them all together but i could be wrong about that but this is another attempt at you uh, doing the time trial, although I'm pretty... Did I cut out the fit? Yes, I did. I cut out every single attempt where you missed that shortcut, which was like six. Yeah, there was like a, I, there was a 
solid chunk. Because you kept going left, and I was like, go, and you kept going left, and I'm like, don't go left. And you're like, where else can I go? I'm like, just don't go left. And you, you like, didn't, and I'm well, like. as someone who doesn't play the game or know that I understand, shortcut, I understand, but it's know. more from the fact of, I'm telling you not to go left, and then you continue to go left. Like, you could have tried doing other things like going right or going straight. <laughs> Well, the, pfft, fuck yourself. <laughs> I love how I completely missed that snowman. Just like you did, but you I was also telling you to ignore them so you could get the time trial first. Because yeah. honestly, when it comes to the Sandmen, uh, just ignore them. Do the time trial. Do the robots at the bottom first. Save the Sandmen for when you have Sandy. Because trust me, there are some massive shortcuts you can make as Sandy that you can't make as SpongeBob that makes getting that sock way easier but again i will get into explaining that when we're actually addressing that first things first we got to get to the bottom of the slope and beat uh, bubble buddy's time which uh, again basically all you got to do if you make that first shortcut and then i believe it's just take the left path at the next branch you will have like an extra 10 seconds because you at the snowman you are at like 20 or you are at like 22 seconds and there you had like 31 so you were yeah. basically 10 seconds ahead um, right. Yeah, you had 12 seconds right there, and now you have 19, 18. Um, yeah. So you do get that extra handful of seconds, and that really does make the difference because you're not beating it otherwise. Up right there, you and did. I don't think I make it. Yeah. No, you make it, but you make it with two seconds to spare. Ah. Uh, yeah. So. Yeah, that was frustrating as all hell. Mm -hmm. And then you just run past the enemies because, I mean, that's what I you should do. I fucking hate Tartar, and I'm like, peace, dude. I'm not going to stay here and deal with your bullshit. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> yeah. So, now you got Bubble Buddy Spatula. So, that's uh, six out of eight spatulas. There's only a few more left to go. And, uh, yeah, then we're going to get into the socks of this level, or of this uh, slope. So... Slope number two, Flounder Hill, has the worst sock in the entire game, and you're probably wondering why that is. Well, simply put, you have to break eight of those Sandmen. The problem with that is that if you die at all on this slope whatsoever, you're fucked. you have to get all eight all over again. And I actually edited all of these together really quickly just to save us a bunch of time showing you where all eight Sandmen are. So what you can do is you can actually get all of the Sandmen in one run if you follow this strategy. And I'm playing right now, by the way. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I was done. I was like, fuck Yeah, we this. spent like 25 minutes on, on this and it was just like not on worth it. On just the Snowmen. Yeah. The sand it's the worst sock in the game. It's the worst one. And so I'm, I'm basically just showing you the most efficient route to get all eight Sandmen in one go. Um, I'm obviously fading in between shots, but uh, this is all in one run down the slope. I just kind of did uh, those last three that you saw or whatever. I was I actually went ahead and edited um, because I had died in a previous attempt. So this is where I started, but I just edited together like it would be one run because this is doable in one run yeah. if you do what I'm doing right now. That was weird, though, because you just showed eight of eight. I know, because I got the first three last, oh, okay. and I did this first, but I edited it so it's going in the chronological order down the slope. Okay. But what you want to do is you actually want to turn around and go back up the slope a little bit and then hover up. You can't do that as SpongeBob. You can as Sandy. And then you can just work your way back up to get the Sandmen and then continue down the path like I'm doing. Basically, just do what I'm showing you on screen right now, and you'll get all of them. That was the eight Sandmen, by the way. So you get to the bottom of the slope, and you get the sock. It's a pain in the ass. I made it look way easier on this because I edited out, like, again, probably a dozen deaths, if not more. Yeah. Worst sock in the game. I absolutely hate it, but that's all yeah, we really have to say on the matter. Garbage, so, honestly. yeah, thankfully that is the end of Flounder Hill, and now we can move on to the final slope, which is also the title of the level, uh, Sand Mountain. The Sand Mountain. Also, you didn't realize that there was a um, bomb bot right there because you put the controller down for whatever reason and just took a blast in the face. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I went to get a drink or I pet Sheikah or something. Speaking of Sheikah, um, if you hear her bell or some scratching at any point, she, as soon as we like to... Is, blah, blah, blah. So if you hear that, as soon as we watch TV or we sit and we don't give our undivided attention to her, she becomes a total crackhead, so I apologize. She acts crazy. So, so this is Sand Mountain. Uh, this is the hardest of the three slopes, obviously. 
And again, it's, it's again, third verse, same as the second. Um, you just want to go ahead and play Spongebob, try to go for the time trial, and then get to the bottom. Although, I'm pretty sure here you actually choose to be Sandy first, so you can get a better feel for the slope before playing as Spongebob, and so you can maybe get some of the socks along the way. I'm pretty sure yeah. you do that. Yeah, you do. Yeah, I just wanted a trial run, basically, because... After my frustration with, you know, the last one, I was like, I'm not doing it again. It, mm. It's not happening. So, I yeah. figured, you know, go through, have a slight understanding of what's going on. Maybe I won't rage that hard. And... Yeah. And that's the location of the first sock. All you gotta do is bounce off that life preserver. Um, there are some, again, the reason you'd want to play Sand is because there are some exclusive socks that only she can get, um, which we will be seeing uh, coming up right here, actually, because you want to hit that life preserver, go ahead and activate that button, and then you want to go for the Texas hook, but you actually died, so you missed it, so we have to redo that. Notice how she actually missed the button that time, which uh, is going to cause her to miss another sock that she's not going to be able to get until she plays a Spongebob. Yeah, and I sat here and I was like, uh, why am I not sliding? And that's because these uh, surfaces right here are not meant to be slid on. And in the original game, these are actually ice. For whatever reason, the remake decided to remove the ice in the slippery platforms and just make them solid sand, which I don't know, I don't really agree with that. I think it was perfectly fine being ice and the slipperiness added to the challenge of it being a sock. So, I don't know, I don't really like that change personally, but it's not the end of the world. Yeah, I didn't understand why I totally just completely ignored that platform to the right mm -hmm. and I was, you know, taking a chance and... Yeah. If you do activate that button, the boulder would go through a hole in the wall right there, but thankfully that's not an issue. Yeah, so I just kind of kept going, tried to avoid the boulders. That didn't completely work to my uh, thought process and fucking death. of One of many. A lot, actually. So I just kept going and going. Yeah, one thing I will say is that in the original game, especially in the GameCube version, these uh, boulders or snow sandballs or whatever are obnoxiously loud and irrigating. And I'm so glad that the, re uh, the remake just kind of made it a dull thud. Not that it's like an exciting sound or anything, but it's so much easier on the ears and I do appreciate that. Yeah, a lot of the sound issues were fixed in the remake, which I can appreciate because... I wasn't having my ears obliterated yeah. every single time we played. Although not all of them, because I, I don't remember if I mentioned this in the actual Goo Lagoon section, but uh, in Goo Lagoon, every time you die and you load back up, the uh, lifeguard tower sound effect is ear-piercingly loud, and it's every single time you load up from dying, which gets really annoying really quickly. So. In the original? In, no, in the remake. In the remake. Okay. It doesn't do that in the original. So even though the, and this is true across the entire board, even though the remake fixes some problems, it also created new ones. So really, it's just kind of like. Yeah, and eh. I completely missed that huge line of. Yeah, keys, you're only but, supposed to single jump that, not double jump, but. Which you know, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, when I, <laughs> whenever I do the sw sliding sequences, and we can see this. Uh, well, you'll see this when you see me try to do the sliding uh, portion of Kelp Forest. It didn't even matter if you were supposed to jump or not. I was just jumping all willy-nilly and it made zero fucking sense. So, I don't know. I guess, like, I get super panicky and I'm like, I don't want to die, I don't want to fall, I don't want to die. And I just would jump. All of the, you know, and who fucks <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Who single jumps? Not me. Also, I can't fucking talk. But so, that's okay. So did sorry. No, uh, go ahead. So did that one have the gold around it or no? Um, honestly, I wasn't paying attention, but I, I think it either. did. Yeah. So I don't know. I love zooming up on the fucking NPCs. <laughs> I love them, and I'm pretty sure it was a Goolagoon, where like oh, I think it might have been Goolagoon. Where that same guy, his little fins out to the side, and he's like, -na 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 -na. it might no, I think it wasn't the same guy, but he was similar looking. Okay, maybe that one was like orange and yellow or something, mm -hmm. but still, kind of the same guy. 
Yeah, but now we're switching over to SpongeBob so that we can go ahead and try Larry's uh, time trial, which is definitely super, super strict. Although I actually think Flounder Hill's time is harder to beat just because you can't. You're basically stuck doing the one path. Yeah. Here, though, thankfully, there is a little more leeway, it feels like. Um, but I just cut to the successful attempt. I forget if I'm playing this one or not. I don't remember. No, I think I managed to do the time trial myself. Um, I think I cussed the entire time I fucking did it, though. Um, I remember you saying those platforms were more wonky in the original. No, it's not that they were more wonky. It's that in the remake, their movement is more exaggerated and noticeable, whereas in the original game, you can't really... Uh, that's you don't was. really see I mean they move and you can tell but it's it's done in a way that it kind of just fucks with your head because it doesn't look like they're moving but they are and it's really weird yeah. but what you want to do to beat Larry's time is you want to activate this uh, sand boulder which will go ahead and smash those signs go and make a hole in the wall and then if you actually go and just go straight right here and jump off by that stalactite you'll get a purple shiny object and land right at the bottom but you want to go all the way around in order to get the sock uh, you can still beat Larry's time if you go for the sock, but if you want a faster time, you want to just jump for the purple shiny object. Yeah, and I don't think when we first, like when we did this, I don't think you mentioned that second shortcut because that is not ringing a bell to me. Well, also I didn't tell you because I wanted you to get the sock. Okay, well that makes sense. But um, and then another strategy you should employ when you uh, take this route is always go left. Like, I, 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 well, go straight and then go left. You want to take the leftmost path coming up here. The one we took in the last run, unfortunately, I actually had you go straight, which is um, the slowest way. Yeah. Because, as you can see, the left path cuts nice. right up at top across, whereas the middle and the right bring you around this longer path that kind of zigzags back and forth. Yeah, so, I just definitely should have done my little double jump thingy yeah. all around. But I did it with, you know, about five to six seconds. And, and then, then you I died. died. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you beat the time first, so that's what counts. And that uh, is the final Golden Spatula of Sand Mountain. Uh, like I said, uh, or, yeah, I don't think, actually, I don't think there's anything else. I'm pretty sure that's the end of Sand Mountain. So, um, yeah, that does it. Uh, we do have a little bit more to show off really quick regarding a uh, final cutscene that I really do like with this level, which is what I'm having you go and do now, but uh, that should about do it for all the spatulas and socks, so. Because yeah. I don't think, I don't believe there are any socks we missed in this level that I go back for in the final part, although maybe there is, I don't remember, but. Uh, yeah, I think we got all of them. Yeah, <laughs> so. Oh, thank Neptune, you did it! Now I can go get my equipment and ski in peace. Actually, I think that Patrick borrowed your equipment. What? Who said he could do that? I did. I figured if you didn't know, you wouldn't mind. Again. Wouldn't mind? Of course I mind! It's only the most expensive skiing equipment you can buy! And what does Patrick want with that stuff anyway? He doesn't even know how to ski. I want the warm now! Alright, and this is where the game got really weird because we thought it was broken and frozen for whatever reason, uh, given that you can kind of see this dark reddish brown texture on screen, but Which nothing else. Different. Yeah, we were sitting here dumbfounded because we thought the game was like busted. And I was pissed because I was like, I did not sit here, get super frustrated, yell at Shadow, and then throw the con not throw the controller, but shove yeah. the controller to him just for it to be... Right, but it turns out it, the camera was just behind that rock, that was... which was stupid, but I don't know what the uh, the deal was with that. It was really weird, but I guess just another minor hiccup that happens when you play this game or something. I'm not sure. Though that didn't happen in my playthrough, so I'm not sure how you even replicate that, but... I don't know. Yeah, that should about do it, though, but, uh, so... One thing I will point out is, uh, what's that? Point it out in every game. Mm -hmm. What is it? TP. It's TP because we're one TP! Yep. But with that said, that's going to do it for this part of Sand Mountain. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed our post commentary. And uh, we will see you guys in the next part. Uh, back with live stuff. So see you then. Bye!